أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد My dear brothers and sisters My dear MGAs My dear viewers Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Inshallah in the remaining days of Ramadan I will be doing a five or six series talk on the Battle of Ahzab. There will be approximately five minutes each. And we would like to have a proper understanding. And more importantly, this surah is filled with tarbiyah for Islamic movement workers. And so in the remaining part of Ramadan, inshallah, inshallah, we will be looking at uh, this surah and how we can develop our understanding, how we can have a better uh, preparation for this Islamic work. As we said, it is a great surah, and it really is a measurement for how well we are in this Islamic work, how well we are in this Islamic movement. It's really a litmus test for us, understanding of our deen, our commitment to obey the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala commands in this surah. Our commitment to stand firm on our principles, our thabat, being unshakable in moments of difficulty in this da'wah. So this surah is a very powerful surah that gives you all of these strong tarbiyah training uh, for this Islamic work. It also contains laws pertaining to social life and most importantly hijab. It also talks about uh, social relationship, talaq and marriage. There, was a, there is a heavy emphasis on this surah about the status of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so it deals with a lot of social, socio-political issues and it deals with breaking traditions and customs. You know, we used to do like this or uh, our culture is like that. So this surah really breaks some of those uh, taboos that are there. And it is now the hukum of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so it talks about uh, child adoption or tabani. Um, it talks about some marriage customs and culture that was there before like marrying the the divorced wife of your of your adopted son and so Allah broke all of that uh, the culture and customs and obviously the surah focuses heavy on the battle of Ahza because that's how it gets its name and the treasury of Bani Qurayza that they were supposed to uh, be part of the uh, the Medina uh, army to defend Medina. Instead, from within, they did treason um, and putting you know the whole Medina in danger. It also talks about the hypocrites and their conduct in society, and how Allah warns about hypocritical behavior. And so in this Islamic work, it is important that we uh, stay clear of those kind of uh, description, those kind of, uh, you know, uh, fallacies and faults of what hypocrisy is. May Allah save us from that. It also talk about how the allied forces these allied forces who swarmed down into Medina and they wanted to finish the Prophet ﷺ. They wanted to finish the companions or the Muslims. Their ultimate goal and aim is to eradicate Islam once and for all in the Arabian Peninsula. But they will get a very harsh or rude awakening for that. And so these forces from the south, you have Quraysh, Kenana, Tihama, Banu Sulaim, 
from the east you have Qatafan, these are big tribes, Abu Asad, and other tribes like Abu Ashja, Banu Ashjan, Banu Fizara, they all came to finish this and their numbers reaching 10,000. Inshallah, we will continue in our next session.